Somewhere within these happy hills, all is peaceful. Somewhere else, that is. Because in these hills, the McHats and Corfields have been feuding for 50 years. The dispute involved a particular landmark that was situated smack dab on the property line. One day, the McHats and Corfields had to, uh, powder their noses at the exact same time. Out of my way! My nose needs a powdering! Mine needs it worse! It was in that moment of great need the two families decided to settle their differences. They put a second door in that there outhouse. Scoot on over, will you, Clem? Who else your sure thing, Joe Bob? Well, sir, that famous feud was over. And to celebrate, they all left for a Caribbean cruise. And to make sure things were fine at home, the McHats hired a trio of house sitters. <sighs> There's nothing like the peace and quiet of country living. You said it. Yeah, and this old rusty water sure hits the spot. <laughs> Nature calling. Well, now, unbeknownst to our trio, the Koi Fields had hired a house sitter of their own, and Nature was calling for him, too. Have some privacy. <laughs> I sure am. Now hold on, Donald. We're all a little upset, but let's try and be good neighbors. And nothing makes good neighbors better than some homemade apple butter. <laughs> Make him some of this yummy water, too. What do you want? <laughs> Howdy, neighbor. I hate neighbors. But I brought you some homemade apple butter. Yeah? What a quicky dink. I got something for you. Now that's right, neighborly. <laughs> what is it? Don't rightly know. I found it in my belly button. <laughs> now get lost! Well, sir, it was right then and there that that little mouse decided to start a feudin' with mean old Pete. The feudin' began with them little fellas using whatever they could get their hands on. was in danger. But what could they do about it? Don't worry! 
I'll sacrifice the yummy water to put it out. Sure, it sounds like a three-foot fish story, but that's the way it all happened. And when the McCats and Caulfields returned, well, poor Mickey did the two-step with his twisted tongue. Uh, you see, uh, he started it, and we, uh, so, uh, how was your trip? But as chance would have it, something black and gooey bubbled up from the crater. Boy. Yeehaw! We're rich! Yahoo! So they packed up their things and moved to Beverly Hills. Of course, the McHats and Caulfield still feuded, but now it's mostly about who's been using the mutual swimming hole as an outhouse. But that's another story.